Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we had a long day. We went to LA and we went to this card shop because my husband's addicted to these cards where he buys them and then he tries to sell them and some he keeps. But anyways, guys, so that place was beautiful. I forgot the name of the town, but it was beautiful. And I wish I would have recorded, but I had left my phone in the car. So I did not record anything, but um, it was nice. And I paid and at there. They had like a little shop where they sell like different kinds of sodas and stuff, flavors and candy. So I decided to pick up this Mexican candy and it's called Sweet Ethan's, which I think is the owner. And it has tahin gummy watermelon and I already tried one and these are so delicious. And then I picked up a drink that had a uh, matcha and it was pretty good. And um, then we got like some kind of Oreos that are like, um, what is it called? macaroon and he got some cards and they're pretty good so you guys should go check our channel if you're interested in cards or you know, <laughs> your husband what is the channel it's um hall of fame baseball card shop yeah but no what's our channel oh our channel is durham family so the Dur durham family and um you'll see more videos about like cards and stuff so if your husband your brother your cousin whoever's interested they can go on that channel and support him but yeah, but we went to the shop and we met the YouTuber that my husband and my son watch on YouTube where they got into all that kind of stuff. So they got a good card. So that's the reason we went all the way to LA to pick up that card that he got. Well, he paid for it, but he got a good one because it's like you never know what you're getting. So that's like, I guess, the fun part for them to not like to not or not knowing what they're going to get. Sometimes it's not a good um, purchase and sometimes it's like a good deal. Or like a good card you know but anyways um so yeah so that's the reason we went over there so then um we ate some bomb mexican food like it was so i don't know like the style was so different but it was so delicious and then um yeah so i picked up this boba uh, matcha drink but it was like in a can and it wasn't that bad to be honest for being in a can and then i picked up the um the candy so it was pricey because this thing was like eight dollars and then my son's um uh, you want to show them yeah his candy was ten dollars and um everything was overpriced but it's like because and it's my like tourists too. Or tur huh and my brother's too was yeah and your brother's was ten dollars too and then um we got some few a few candies and we went to the um what's it called the store yeah i told them already yeah. papa yeah so yeah so we went over there it was a beautiful area but i just wished i would have left my phone in the car so that way i could have recorded a vlog or something because it was so beautiful and yeah but oh well at least we can go another time it's just the only thing is far away and then the traffic is what you know makes it even farther you know but anyway so after there we went to macy's because i wanted to get this perfume that i've been wanting for a long time it is the um, Flower Bomb by Victor and Ralph. It was on sale and it's only the one fluid ounce, but it was on sale. So I decided to pick it up. This is worth $88 for just one fluid ounce, but I got it for 74, I think 74, 80. I don't know where to put my receipt, but wait. Um, yeah, it was for 74, 80, but with tax, I paid 81.35. It's still a lot of money for a one fluid ounce, but I really wanted to try this because every time I go to the mall, I get a sample or I spray it on my arm and I love it. So I decided to pick it up. And I know, yes, that was not a good idea since I bought this humongous perfume that I used to own, the YSL Mont Paris. But it's a perfume that I love. So for me, the big bottle will make sense because I wear it a lot. And it's a perfume that is so addicting. So I paid this. I paid. I bought this one first, and then I got this one because this one was on sale too. And I think the price um, this on its own is eighty five for just a one fluid ounce, and this one on its own is thirty dollars. But with these two, I got them for I, think, I believe eighty five dollars, and. Uh, Oh, was this? Yeah, I think it was $85 plus the tax, but it was a good deal. You know, it would have been more if I would have bought them separately. And then 
I decided to pick up what I showed you guys. But I know that before that, I bought the um, Ariana Grande Sweet Like Candy, Ariana Thank You Next, Ariana Ari, Ariana Cloud. So I know that I, need, I didn't need to get more perfume, but it's just that I love perfumes. And um, as you know, one of, my, one of my videos that has the most views is my perfume collection because I love perfume and before I owned so many and this is one that I want to repurchase the Valentino Born in Roma because this one's so addicting I know I mentioned it in almost every video but I almost bought it but I'm gonna hold on a little bit more and maybe next time I'll buy this one because I have my eye on some other perfumes so yeah but I need to use these up first so the Ariana Grande's they're more like for every day for work you know because it's nothing like I don't want to use my expensive ones for work, you know? So, yeah. So, I'm going to use these up during the week. And then the ones like the YSL Mont Paris, YSL Libre, and my um, Flower Bomb Victor and Ralph. I'll use it also on the special occasions and stuff. So, yeah. So, tomorrow I'm going to try this one. And I'll let you know, guys know how it lasts on my skin. Because I heard that it lasts all day. And I heard that it's very strong where people can smell it. So I'll see about that. I hope it does on my skin. So yeah, anyways, guys. Oh, and I wanted to show you, I dyed my hair again. I used my chocolate brown, finally, hair dye that I've had with the 20 developer because I want to use it up so then I can go back to jet black. But um, as you can see, sorry, my bed is not made. Um, these parts are lighter because that's where I have the pink. Sorry, my makeup is coming off. So yeah, it's like more of a chocolate brown instead of like the the ashy neutral brown. Now it's more of a chocolate warm color, you know. And I got my nails done again and it was a rip off because I went to go get a refill because it's, it had only been two weeks. And honestly, after a week, they were growing out. And so this lady charged me the same price as getting a new set. And I didn't not... I didn't, I should have asked first when I was going to get the, um, the refill, but I assumed that it would be cheaper, you know, but they ended up only charging me $5 less than, uh, a new set. So I was so confused, you know, cause even though it's not a lot for what you pay at other places, cause I've paid $75, I've paid 80, I've paid a lot of money. So at the mall it's way cheaper. So that's why I decided to go there. And then I wanted to go again because I assumed that the refill would be so cheap but it wasn't because for the my nails when i had them before these the pink ones that you guys saw the longer ones they were um 45 dollars and for these i paid 40. and it's the same the only thing they cut them shorter because i asked to get them shorter and a different color so i don't know if it's because i chose a different color they charged me more but then it doesn't make sense because when i told the girl I told her that I wanted a refill. She's like, okay. So then she brought me a book to choose a color. So I assumed like it's still a refill. They just want me to choose another color. They should have told me that, oh, if you choose a different color, it's going to be more. Or if we cut them shorter, they're going to be more. I don't know. I'm just a little surprised. And not only that, the first day I got them done, which was yesterday. Was it yesterday? Yeah, yesterday. I started already getting, like when I left the salon or the place, you can't really see it on the camera, but I have like dots everywhere, like little holes everywhere, like in black. And I have it in almost all my nails. And usually that happens like when they're old. So I don't know if it's the nail polish or what, but I feel like she did not do a good job at all, like to be honest. And like, I don't know, you can see streaks on the nail color, the, the gel. So I don't know. I, I don't think I'm going to go back to there, that place, even though it's cheaper. Because in the long run, I paid more because after two weeks, I ended up paying more, you know. And then when I got my toes, like, you know, I didn't, well, I don't count my toes, but um, just my nails on, in itself, 45 plus 40 plus the tax, I mean, plus the tip, the tip that I gave them, that adds up, you know. So it's like basically I paid like 100 and something twice when, you know, I don't know. So anyways guys let me know if when you get a refill did you pay the same price or how does that work because i thought a refill was like you pay less because you're just filling it in you know instead of getting a whole new set 
So if I would have known that, I would have just waited for to get a new set or got in a new set at that moment, you know? But enough about my nails and my hair. I just wanted to show you my hair, my nails, and the new perfume in my collection that I'm so excited to use. I know it's a little bottle, but at the same time, it makes sense because since I have the humongous, the biggest perfume, I don't need another big one, you know? So I, Because I need to use my perfumes up. So yeah, anyways, guys. That was just a little random video, but don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I post a video, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!